Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure for GameCube. Gonna be playing on normal. Okay, now we gotta pick our character. There are three boys and three girls. These are the three boys, and these are the three girls. Which makes it really hard to tell the difference between boys and girls in this. So I'm just gonna pick the first guy. They really could have did a better job making the girls look more like girls. Welcome to Universal Studios! I'm Woody Woodpecker! I'll be your guide today! At Universal Studios, we have exciting theme areas based on the movie world! Today in the park, we're having a stamp collection contest! Every attraction features special games! If you win a game, you'll earn a stamp! Let's begin by taking a walk around the park! This place is big, so try not to get lost. <laughs> have fun! Okay, so we have to collect stamps, and we get them by clearing attractions. Okay, you can see here there's letter tiles scattered throughout the park. We have to find all the letter tiles in order to get a stamp. So we'll have to keep an eye out for those. Also going to be earning points throughout the game that you can use to buy things from Woody Woodpecker here. Quite a few things that we have to buy. The hardest thing to buy is that hoverboard for 40,000 points. It is ridiculously overpriced. So it takes forever to save up to get the hoverboard. Now we're gonna head back to the start and collect this letter. Get a hundred points for every letter you collect. Plus it goes to getting that stamp, so you wanna make sure you collect them. They are really small and hard to spot, so gotta have good eyes. And be very observant. Keep your eyes peeled for them. It's hard to navigate around things once your character gets far into the background. Since the camera doesn't follow them. The caps help you get into the attractions and cut lines, which you buy from Woody Woodpecker for points. Make sure to collect the second letter piece on the left here. As you can see, that was an S. It won't always be the same letter, so when you're collecting your letters, it may be a different one you find there. They're all at random. So you can get blue or red stamps 
you want to go for the red stamps. That is the beating the high scores and beating it perfectly. And here's where you can change the controller rumble feature on or off by clicking on that person with the sign and controller. In order to get the map, you need to talk to these two people first. Once you do that, we can run back to the start, past the person shaking the controller, in order to get the map of the park, which does help since it is a pretty big park and you could get lost. It's like an entire town. Just talk to this guy and he'll give you the map. So weird shaking a controller out there in the middle of a theme park. Okay, here we're gonna find another letter. They favor sticking to the left side with most of them, so keep an eye on that. We also see ET wandering around. You'll find characters wandering the park. When you see one of them, you want to shake their hands. It gives you a thousand points every time you do that, and points are very important in this game since there's so much to buy. So whenever you see one of those characters, click on them and shake their hand. Find another letter all the way at the bottom here. In this intersection. Like I said, they're very small and hard to spot. Here we have another character to click on and shake his hand. That always gives you a lot of points, especially if you're trying to save up for that hoverboard. Here we'll find another letter in the Wild West area. You also want to click on this cowboy. I agree, people should throw away their garbage. Now when you wander throughout the park, you will see trash on the floor that you can pick up and throw away in order to get points. Cleaning up after other people. Since some people are so rude to throw their trash on the ground. So now we gotta pick up and throw away garbage if we see it in order to get more points. So right now I'm just wandering throughout the park, going through everything in order to collect all the letters I can and look around. Get another letter on the left here. So that's what I'm going to do first and then I'll start clearing the attractions one by one. letter on the right at this intersection. You can talk to this girl who lost her cell phone. So now we need to keep an eye out for it. hard to see your character once they get really far into the background, especially with all these people everywhere. Do you want to go inside? Gonna go explore the water world. This is just a little... a little... show for you to watch and enjoy. 
you can choose where you want to sit and see it from that point of view. The one all the way on the right there, I think is the worst spot to sit. The best place to sit is usually the center, so you can see everything. It's a really quick show. So you can watch that if you want. And you get a hundred points for doing that. I will be picking up as much garbage as I can find along the way, since you need so much so many points. Another letter on the left. These letters are very small, so you really gotta keep a sharp eye out for them. Those garbage bins are where you throw away the trash, so keep an eye out for those as well. here on the ground. They're so tiny. There's also another letter right here by the curb on the left side. They favor the left side with putting these letters. That one's really hard to spot. I'm not getting too lucky finding characters to shake hands with to get more points. There's another letter, this time on the right. Another one that's really small and hard to spot. Another letter on the left, up there. On the black makes it a lot easier to spot it. Okay, as you can see we got another letter at the bottom right. These people will get out of my way. Got all the letters already. We just started. Here's that cell phone that girl lost. Now we gotta bring her back her phone. Which is strange, I don't know how she was able to call her phone without her phone, especially with her all by herself, and there's no pay phones around here. I guess somebody let, let her use their phone to call her phone with. It's just really weird. Even more weird with that she knew it was me who picked up the phone for her, and not just a stranger. intersection where we're told to go get the map. 
So now we gotta head back to give the girl her phone back. Just gotta keep picking up garbage. There's always plenty of that lying around. She wants us to meet her at the western area. When I was nice enough to walk all the way over here to bring her her phone back. bottom right. So we're gonna give her her phone back. And you get a thousand points for returning her cell phone. And we will be completing all the attractions one at a time. That's how we get all the stamps. Which collecting all the stamps is how you beat this game. I'm just gonna run back to the beginning to cash in some of my points. Okay, here's Frankenstein. Gotta shake his hand, get more points. Those thousand points really add up. It's weird how they shake hands because they like grab you and shake your sides. Pretty weird handshakes, but I'll take the, the thousand points every time. So I'm just gonna cash in and spend some points. We've got a lot we have to buy. Buy the cowboy hat. And then the next one I'm gonna buy is I think I'm gonna buy this Jaws cap next. Since that'll be the next game anyways. And I think I have enough money for just the ET cap left. Yeah. That hoverboard is just waste just way too expensive. This will be the end of Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure Part 1.